One, two, three, four. Alimajay. This worldly woman. It's interesting to see this blonde haired, blue eyed girl just bust out in Japanese. Gives these four a taste of Japan. I thought Robbie was gonna vomit. I think I did all right. But trying to impress her with their culture. I have been in 46 of 50 states. May send them into shock. Just because you stop at a couple gas stations, let me the world traveler. Three get the axe, one gets the date. I was totally taken back. It was hot. It all starts now. A limit day. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm Shelly and I'm in real estate with New Construction. I would describe my personality as kind of two-sided. One side, I'm really serious. On the other side, I'm outgoing and crazy and I always have a story. I recently spent a year over in Japan. I was basically learning Japanese and teaching English at the same time. I'm hoping to meet someone on the date today who likes experiencing different cultures and is open to new experiences. A limited. <laughs> In round one, I'm bringing the guys here, Koji's. It's an authentic Japanese restaurant, and I'm totally pumped because this is the best Japanese restaurant in Portland. That means I'm really nervous in Japanese. The reason this girl's gonna like me is because I think I'm a genuine person, my personality comes through, and uh, I think I have a lot to offer. I'm Todd, I'm a financial advisor. People who know me would say I love to go ski, I'm a wild guy, and I love to go out and have a good time on the, on the town. Hi! Hi, I'm Todd, nice to meet you. Todd, nice to meet you, I'm Shelly. First thing I thought when I saw Shelly was, wow, what great big blue eyes. I'm going to win her over with the wine. If not, I'm just gonna use the wine to knock the other guys in the head with. Hi, I'm Jeremy, I am a cook at a well-established gentlemen's club here in Portland. Hi! I'm Jeremy. Jeremy, nice to meet you, nice I'm to Shelly. Meet you. Shelly, do you like wine? I, oh, it's my favorite. Oh, well, good, then we don't have to use the bottle to beat up the other guys. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> I looked at Shelly and she wowed me. Uh, beautiful girl. Three other guys really don't phase me. I'm just gonna go out there and uh, show her what I got and I have confidence that that'll come through. I'm Clark and I'm gonna win this date because she'll have no choice but to be won over by my witty charm and boyish good looks. Hey. How you doing? I'm Clark. Clark, hi, nice to meet you. Good meeting you. Uh, I brought you a little bottle of Tabasco sauce because uh, you always need a little spice in life. <laughs> oh, that's hot, thank you very much. I think she liked the Tabasco sauce because uh, it shows that I have a little bit of fire for life. Hey, if he wants to spice it up, let's go. My name is Robbie. I'm a footwear designer. You know, ladies love shoes, so that's the reason I got into the business, so I could uh, have a little something to talk to them about. When I meet this girl today, I'm going to give her a pair of these. Uh, this is something I designed specifically for her. Hey, how are you doing? I'm Good. Robbie. Hi, nice Good. to meet you. She's pretty smoking. Uh, nice blonde hair, blue eyes, you know, nice skin tone. Oh my gosh. I designed, wow. uh, I designed footwear, so I thought I'd. Uh, oh my god, this is so cool. For you. you designed this? Uh -huh. How cool wow. is that? Just wow. For you. Lightweight. That's yeah. so cool. So you are designed you a, footwear? I designed footwear, yeah. Sweet are you, job. Are, are you a seven? I knew you were going to be a 10, oh. but I brought you a seven. Oh, oh. thank you. Oh, <laughs> what a line. That's yeah. hot. I knew you'd be a 10, but I brought you a seven. Who says that, really? I think Shelly will use his shoes. She's going to put them on and run far, far away. Run, Shelly, run. <laughs> thank, okay. you. thank you. Gosh, that's so sweet. Oh. Well, um, I thought maybe we'd go over to the bar and get a drink and just kind of get to know each other for a little while and Sounds see what great. happens. So I just wanted to ask you, what do you guys all do for a living? I know you told me that you're a designer of footwear, but... Um, I work for a general contractor construction management firm. Okay. I'm a cook. I'm just yeah. doing that as, as a, kind of a part-time thing. I'm looking to get back into school, but I, unfortunately I came out here and got injured. Oh no! Oh, oh my yeah. snap! Wow! <laughs> That's pretty Whoa! Cool. So, how did you, how did that happen? Oh, it was a skateboarding accident. Oh, I, uh, no. I was bombing down a hill I shouldn't have been on. Oh my god! And I wiped out and I'm um, unable to lift a whole lot of heavy weights. Oh. I know you want to make a good first impression, but pulling out your shoulder and showing off injuries is not the way to do it. That was pretty nasty. Like I know chicks dig scars, but that wasn't a scar. That was a deformity. <laughs> Uh, I'm a financial planner. Uh, people pay me to tell me where to put their money, so that's what I do. All right. Okay, good deal. Well, drinks are served, gentlemen. Why don't we uh, do a little come pie is how you say it. Come pie. Come pie. Very nice. Very nice. Um, usually when I uh, meet people for the first time, I get different stereotypes. Oh, maybe she's a snob or, you know, she's a blonde, she's not very intelligent, blah, blah, blah. What were your first impressions of each other? 
Well, I'll give you the first. This guy right here is giving the medium guys like us yeah. Napoleon complexes. <laughs> but, you know. I'm six foot five, and I'm proud of my height. Shelly, uh, she's a tall girl, and she doesn't want to be surrounded by three midgets. I was wondering, yeah. I, I was wondering if he was off the Sanford and son or something. Oh, Sanford and son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like the duds, man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I like so, it. Yeah. When Todd said that I looked like someone out of Sanford and son, consider the source because Todd wouldn't know style if it slapped him in the face. I wasn't thinking Sanford and son. I was thinking, uh, what's happening? You know, rerun when he did a what like this. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. First off, we got a. Uh, this guy's going pretty conservative. He's got the jeans yeah. with the uh, brown boots. You can always tell uh, tell a lot by whatever somebody's wearing. It's my niche uh, that I have above the other guys. What color socks? What color they're socks white. you got? They're white. Yeah, they're white. But, uh, white socks. No, no I wrong. figured why the white? pants are going to be down. There's no issue with exposure. So white socks are completely acceptable. Ooh, white socks, brown hiking boots. Um, it's called a fashion no-no. He shouldn't have done it. Right here. Boom. Bam. <laughs> Bass, the boy, if you will. Boy's going Bass, classic. if you will. And I'm ahead of the game. I don't know if you know, this is the, like thrift wow. store ram out here. Oh, this? Oh, yeah, All man. $12. I think it might have thrown him for a loop saying that I got him from a thrift store and wasn't afraid to say that. I think it was fine because, I mean, it went with the rest of the outfit. I mean, that jacket had to go for at least three ninety five. dollars All right, there what? you go. What? Nice dress, go with the black. Yeah. The, the Euro look. What is the not, 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 not up on the stage. You don't think dancing. he's kind of smooth with those shoes? Like, oh, maybe yeah, he has yeah, all smooth the lines. shoes. All right. Uh, <laughs> when the other guys are teased about my shoes, I really don't give a Square toe shoes, square personality, I mean. I don't know, you, you put it together. You have the bluest blue eyes that I've ever seen. You oh, know that? thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, I'm so sorry. I don't do well with compliments. Sorry. That was uh, some huge cheese. I mean, we're talking Wisconsin cheese. Do you guys mind if I order? Why don't you do that ahead of time? Okay. Sumimasen. Hi. Arigato gozaimasu. Hi. Sumimasen. Very impressive. Um, no. <laughs> it's kind of interesting to see this blonde haired, blue eyed girl just bust out in Japanese. It was definitely cool. It definitely helped out the situation because, uh, I mean, if I were to order, you know, who knows what I'd have got. Actually, before we start, if you don't mind, I'd like to toast. Okay. To getting to meet you. Well, I'll toast you guys too, I guess. Thank you. Were you, were you up all night writing that one? Yeah, man. <laughs> Here's to getting to know you. Man, that was high quality. All right, now this is salmon eggs, also known as roe, and there's a little small go, little egg in there. You want to try it? I'll go for it. OK. Ready? Sorry, I, it's kind of like huge. They are pretty large. I thought Robbie was going to vomit tough when he got that piece of salmon put in his mouth. He's a little sketchy on it. So he uh, was, a, was a little tough to, uh, to, to get down. Uh, I mean, I need a little, uh, little beverage to, uh, to soak up some of it, but uh, I think I did all right. What did you think about the salmon eggs? Uh, I mean, could you can't taste even tell. it? It's almost like you're trying like gummy worms. It's like, it's like a flounder <laughs> and chopped up gummy worms oh. at the same time. You typically chop up your gummy worms before you eat them? No, no, I'm okay. not a gummy worm guy. Basically, everything I say, Jeremy kind of repeats it, but bad, you know what I mean? Oh, I chop up gummy worms, you know? It's like... Man, you need help. Coming up, who will Shelly cut first? Uh, I think Shelly hated those sneakers, so I'm pretty sure Robbie's gonna get the boot. I think Todd should be cut because uh, he, basically he had prime real estate. He was sitting right next to the girl and didn't say one word unless he was talked to. I think Robbie's gonna be eliminated first because those were just some damn ugly shoes and I don't know anybody who would ever wear anything like that. Well, I'm thinking Shelly's gonna eliminate Todd. Sayonara, buddy. Eliminate. Shelly will eliminate first. Jeremy, Clark, Todd, or Robbie? Well, round one's over, and I had a great time, but the name of the game is Eliminate, and I have to eliminate one of you, but I want to say I had a great time, and um, I have to say goodbye to Todd. Really? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I just, I didn't feel like there was a connection or a spark, and it's really cold outside today. <laughs> I can't believe I was eliminated over ugly sneakers, a cheap bottle of wine, and a bottle of Tabasco. Really, it, it shocks the hell out of me. Todd's a cool guy. Uh, he just needs to uh, maybe hang out around basketball courts a little more, find a tall woman. I'm the all-American what every woman wants. I'm blonde-haired, blue-eyed, good-looking guy, I make a decent living. I don't know what else you could ask for in a guy. I don't know. I 
start off round two by taking the guys to the gypsy. Great ambiance, cool atmosphere, and they're known for their killer fishbowl drinks. Well, I never got a chance to ask you when we were over at Koji's, but um, I wanted to ask you if you had ever been to a foreign country or traveled abroad. I have not gone overseas, just Canada, Mexico. Okay, well that counts. Very nice. Uh, I've been to uh, Canada and uh, Jamaica, and uh, which isn't very impressive as far as the international resume go, but I have been in 46 of 50 states. Holy so smokes. Domestic traveler. You're a domestic traveler. Yeah. Very hot. All right, wow. We got this kid thinking he's Magellan over here just because he's been to 46 states. You know, big deal. Just because you stop at a couple gas stations along the way from me, you're a world traveler. Uh, I've been to Germany before, been to uh, Amsterdam. Really? Mm -hmm. Very nice, uh, a little went, red light district. Oh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of red light district. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> wow. No, it wasn't too bad. It, 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 was, it, it definitely lives up to its, uh, to, you know, to, it's, everybody knows about it. So. Yeah, exactly. When Robbie said that he'd been to Amsterdam and Germany, I was totally psyched. I love both of those places, and I just felt like a connection there. If you were just traveling with some buddies, kicking back, ready to have a good time, would you have a one night stand? I'm not a one night stand type of person at all, but I just wanted to see if these guys were into one night stands. Um, yeah, I think it'd be tempting, but I don't think I would pull it off. Okay, all right, good enough. I, uh, Jeremy? I can't lie, if uh, sparks flew between me and someone and things okay. happen, uh, I'm human with the rest of us. <laughs> okay, all right. So, I'm gonna say no. I really haven't had like a one night stand, so you know, why, why would I start when I went to another country? <laughs> Right, okay. Honest truth. Okay. I don't see that happening at all. I uh, see Robbie as being more of a player than what he said he was. He's kind of a dork, so uh, it's certainly possible. So uh, I was wondering, like, uh, like, what kind of music do you listen to? Or, like, you know, clubs and bands? And... Oh, I love all types of music. Uh -huh. um, my favorite is kind of punk, alternative. Um, but I also like country, so and I also like rap, so... I'm all over the map. <laughs> I'm, I'm more into like uh, like R&B and hip hop, and okay. uh, I was I'm from, like I'm from the south, so until like until I, I wasn't riding around in mom's car and she controlled the stereo, you know, I right. listen to country. But can you sing anything? Yeah, no. can, can I? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if you were like a. No, no. I, I, <laughs> I was just yeah, seeing what uh, your reaction see. would be. Say, beautiful lady girl, I need you tonight so I can love you, lady. When he started singing to her, I was, uh, was kind of cringing there. I want to make you feel all right, yeah. You want a drink? Wow. <laughs> We definitely, me and Shelly, we had a moment, you know, her two big blue eyes was, you know, looking right at me when I was singing to her. I've got one question, like, before we leave. Um, most people, like, they don't wear hats on first dates, so I was, I was wondering, like... Do I have hair? Yeah, we oh, yeah, man. Uh, probably, uh, probably, yeah, man. Full head. Oh, yeah, man. Full head. Now, if I, if I get to the next date, I might throw a little gunk in there, you know? Uh -huh. You look cute right. without your hat. I didn't... Yeah, you look well, totally cute. Well, I cannot believe Homeboy has some hair on his head. I was so waiting for it. It's gonna be cue ball. I guess I owe Shelly 10 bucks now. Who will Shelly cut next? Well, I think Shelly's gonna cut Clark just due to the fact that he doesn't really act like he wants to be here. I think Robbie should get cut because uh, he's getting really annoying, and if she doesn't cut him, I'll try to somehow. I definitely think uh, Jeremy's gonna get cut because uh, there's just nothing between him and Shelly. Uh, I don't even think she's looking for a friendship with him. A limit day. <laughs> Who is Shelly going to eliminate next? Jeremy, Clark, or Robbie? I had a great second round. Um, I wish I could keep all of you. Unfortunately, I have to eliminate one of you, and um, I'm going to have to say goodbye to Jeremy. All right. I had a great time. No problem. I um, appreciate it. Just want to give you this. I kind of prepared, uh, just in case you figure out these guys might be a mistake. Oh. Here's my number. <laughs> OK, thank you. I kind of had a feeling that things weren't going as well as what I had planned. Um, I didn't make the impression necessarily that I thought I would. He was just a little too aggressive and a little too much for me. The only reason Jeremy made it through round one is because you can't cut two people in one round. She seemed like a nice girl. We did have some interests, but uh, apparently not the ones that she was looking for in a dating situation. I guess we gotta get ready for 
uh, round three. So if ding, you guys ding. if you guys want to change into your evening wear, mm -hmm. um, dress to impress, and I'll meet you at the place. In round three, I want to get this party started, and I want to see who's willing to fight for me. Go after what you want. Hey, guys. Ooh, you look great. Oh, thank you. What's up? When Shelly came out, uh, I saw those polka dots, and I'm a big fan of that. Definitely a good move. I like Clark's style. Um, actually, I was checking out both of them, and he was the one that I would probably say dress the best. Sure, you look so right. I think it needs to be just me and you tonight. Come on. Let's <laughs> got to do crazy stunts to draw attention to himself. And I was like, whoo, she's smoking. Like, all I could think about was just like pick her up and run her away from that guy. I was kind of fearing for her life. Uh, he's not that big of a guy and uh, looked like he was kind of laboring a little bit. Oh my gosh, Here we go, here we go. What is the heck? Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my god. I'd like to uh, take a, a gentleman's arm instead of a uh, wild madman. I was totally taken back. I was just, it was hot. It was totally cool. Blue Moon is an ideal place to take a date because everyone's hospitable and you just feel at home here. All right, well, we are approaching the end. The end, witching hour. the end, the end. The end. How do you guys feel like I measured up in your expectations of a woman? Like what you're looking for? Be honest. Um, well, A plus is the highest, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You got all the lines. All the lines. Yeah. Yeah. What you're talking about. I don't know. It's what you're about. an RL on the deal. Yeah, I'll have to check that book out <laughs> next time I go to the library. I think Shelly wants a man who's a little bit more solid uh, than a, a one-dimensional jokester. Uh, I think she wants someone with a little bit of depth, and I don't know if Robbie. Uh, showed that to her today. I would like to get to know you better and uh, right. kind of dig a little deeper and get down a few layers. But exactly. uh, from what I see, that's definitely something that uh, I, I would want to do. Okay. Uh, um, if any, what do you feel is a mistake that Clark made on the date or that Robbie made? Things I wouldn't have done. I did not run down the sidewalk with you and uh, risk tripping and falling and uh, dropping you. Hey, then picking her up wasn't a mistake, man. That's classic. That was like the right thing to do, you know. Are you sure you're not looking for, you know, a nice stroll down the street, and, you know, for you to open the door and like basically say nothing to her? If I had to pick a fault, I'd say uh, it's just a little too laid back. Yeah, I don't know if you're looking for a little, you know, something spunky like that. Like, hey, you know, it's for the moment. Let's do this thing. Right. Uh, you know, just, just you know, not jumping at those chances. I mean, they're always there. It's not. Right. In rebuttal. In rebuttal. Uh, in rebuttal. I don't better. want my. Uh, All about the boat. I don't want my relaxedness to be uh, misinterpreted as a lack of interest. Uh, right. You seem to be a wonderful girl, very beautiful. He been had said that word relaxedness. I was laughing because uh, the kid needs to go back to get his education on. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I totally want to applaud you guys today. I've totally... It's been a long day, but I really appreciate, like, all of your patience. I did eat sushi for you. <laughs> I say uh, toast. Okay. Yep. To an uh, end of an evening. All right, go. good deal. Will it be Clark or Robbie? Shelly's final cut is next. Well, let me day. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I had a fantastic time with both of you. I do have to pick one gentleman caller. And um, I think that I'm going to have to eliminate Clark. All right. I'm sorry. Best wishes. Yeah. Have fun. I... That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Yeah. What the hell was that? I don't know. Some things defy explanation. You were the best guy out of all of them because you're laid back, um, easygoing personality. You're always cracking jokes, and you're spontaneous. Um, it's really refreshing. Between you and me, I think she might have picked him because she can get free sneakers for life or something. I don't know. <laughs>